Hello, and welcome to Shine On, Sista, where you learn to shine your light in life, business, and beyond. Oh, the sales conversation. Do you hate getting on the phone with a potential client for fear that they're going to say no? Well, I'm going to give you a gift today that's going to help you cash in on these conversations, whether your potential client says yes or whether they say no. So first, let's define what I'm talking about. Sales conversations, enrollment conversations, maybe you call them breakthrough sessions or even strategy sessions. I call them invitation conversations. But they're the conversations you have with a potential client where you assess you know, where they are, what they are hoping to create in their life, and you see, as the expert, if what you offer is something that could absolutely help them close the gap from where they are to where they want to be, right? Sales conversation. And um, a lot of service professionals, you know, personal development professionals or coaches and healers really struggle um, in these conversations because this is the point where you have to say, hi, pay me for what I do. And people get really uncomfortable with that. What I find when I work with my clients is that a lot of times coaches would rather skip this step, you know, skip the skill of learning how to enroll clients over the phone, for example, because it feels really uncomfortable. But I strongly believe that knowing how to enroll clients into your programs and services is a very important skill to master. Before you click away and say, I don't even want to do sales on the phone, so I'm not going to even listen to this. I do believe that if you sell something that's invisible, you know, it's a service that's coaching, you know, healing, any type of personal development really, um, or transformation, right? Learning how to enroll people over the phone is a really great skill to have. Why? You're worried about social media. You're worried about how big your list is. You're worried about the economy. All of that goes away when you learn how to really um, have a deep conversation with one individual where you're able to assess their needs and you're able to really genuinely examine where they are, where they want to be and what you offer. And if it's a fit, bam, you're in business. You know, this is the way I grew my business and it's always um, a great first step when you're enrolling anyone into anything, really. I could go on and on why these conversations are super important to your business, but today I really want to focus on the thing that you're super scared about. Hearing the word no. I don't have to help you with hearing the word yes because that's the outcome you want, but I'm going to also help you be okay with hearing the word no and how it can actually benefit your business as well. So now I'm going to give you three reasons why hearing no in the sales conversation can actually be a good thing. Reason number one, when your client says no in the sales conversation, they're going to give you a reason why typically. This is gold for you because now you really get to hear what your clients are struggling with. Is it that they don't have enough time? Maybe they feel like they don't have enough money. Maybe you have video components and they really want audios. After hearing no several times, you're going to hear a pattern. There's going to be certain things that come up continuously and you're going to learn firsthand what your clients are struggling with. Why is this a great thing? Well, from there, you're able to develop your marketing materials, you know, your newsletter, Uh, social media post, whatever, and you will be able to really speak to those objections in all of your marketing copy because you know that the people that you get on the phone with have have a certain set of issues that keep them from investing with you. And once you know what that is, you're able to speak to it and overcome those objections and be of service to your potential clients. Reason number two why hearing no in a sales conversation can actually be a good thing is because you are going to get to hear their specific language on how they say why they can't invest in your service. And this is also really great for you if you're marketing content. You are able to speak to the heart of um, what stops them from investing and you can use their words. And this is how people will start saying, oh my gosh, you're speaking straight to me. Oh my gosh, it's like you read my mind. And it's a really great way to build rapport because it, 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 it does indicate that you know your clients because you're on the phone with them and you're hearing them out. And as you start speaking their language, they're going to trust you more and they're going to feel more comfortable investing in your service. 
And the third reason why hearing no in a sales conversation can actually be a good thing is because it gives you a great opportunity to be of wonderful service to the client you're on the phone with and to those who will come after them. Because you can ask, well, what is it about this offer that really doesn't light you up? Because up until this point, it seemed like um, this service would be a good fit for you. Listen and see what is a miss for this potential client. Is it that you're going to do only group coaching and they want one-on-one -on -one time? Is it that you're going to have a ton of videos and they really want audios? You're able to really assess how does your ideal client really want this information delivered to them? How do they want the support delivered to them? And how can you help meet your client where they are? And again, after a series of no's, you will see the patterns show up and you will be able to adjust accordingly, right? Because you do want to be of service to your clients. So hearing no in these conversations, when done right, i.e. asking what is it about the offer that doesn't really mesh for them, you're able to really glean some insight on how you can make your offer fit your ideal client in a much better way. So you're able to see now how hearing no in a sales conversation can absolutely help you cash in, right? It's going to help you with your marketing copy. It's going to help you build rapport and trust, and it's going to help you custom design your offers to really fit your ideal client. What can be better than that? So now my challenge to you moving forward really is to go into your enrollment conversations with a feeling of non-attachment. If it's a fit, go ahead and offer your service. They may say yes, they may say no, but either way you're going to benefit and either way you're going to be of great service to your clients. Now you have the tools to grow your business regardless of what they say. It's a classic win-win. So pick up the phone, be of service, and shine on, sister.